Martin, we're here at Neyland Engineering in Ireland. Could you tell me a little bit more what you do here? Uh, we're actually primarily a tool making company and we have ended up over the last few years, we specialize in two main areas. One is actually on molds and mold repairs and the other one is metrology fixtures. So they're both actually linked to injection molded parts and that's where we bring together all the expertise within the company to bring in something uh, I suppose unique, we have the background and we'd like to bring that to the design and manufacture of our products. And what type of companies do you actually work with? What sort of sectors do they work within? Everything primarily is to do with high volume manufacturing. Um, two of our main customers are very different in ways. One is a high volume manufacturing company. They make, uh, they run molded machines seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And we do a lot of work for their mold repairs and assembly lines. The other part of the business is the actual metrology fixtures. And on those, again, we actually, they supply numerous companies and we actually design and build the actual individual fixtures for them. So when, when you expand them, Martin, are, are you looking for the same type of companies that you work with now to, to operate with? Uh, there's always room for change. You can bring that skill set to a lot of different types of things. We have learned uh, a lot with dealing with the customers. I'd always think the customers actually builds up the skills within the business and we can adapt. Uh, we have the equipment, we have the personnel, and we have the software. And I think we grow on that and use it to its best advantage that we can. And how do you invest in people? Do you, do you look at bringing trainees into the company? What we do is, uh, recently we have actually brought in engineering graduates. And we found that the background in design has helped to bring something to our company as well. We use that to actually enhance the uh, design capabilities of the company. Well, we started with uh, our first seat of Busy was in 2003. At that time, uh, we bought one seat for design and one seat for machining. And since that time, we have actually, through the fact that we have actually increased our employees, we've also increased the number of seats of uh, Busy. And now we have actually seven seats and a seat of EdgeCam as well for the turn-in. And since that time, we have actually added on different modules for wiring and 3D machining and different things. So we have actually as the company has grown busy, has grown with us. So do you have a design office as such then? We have a, basically, this is it. I actually start off a lot of the design here, but the main use of busy and th obviously the six, seven seats of them are actually out on the floor. So everyone on the floor has their own seat of busy that they use whether it be for wiring or for machining or some basic designs. Maybe they make their own fixtures to suit whatever part has to be machined, but they have the seat of busy there to do it. And what's the benefit for that then? The benefit is that we have one single source. So if you have a component and you have the CAD model, that's if we make any changes, any revisions, we keep that model up to date. And right at the end, all the way through to the final inspection, we're using the same model. And that once we actually be sure that we're up to date, it means that the final product is exactly as we need it to be. And what sort of support and backup do you get from Vero Software? Like we have a full maintenance contract with Busy, and we find them invaluable. Uh, no matter what problem they have, they're on the phone. If they can't sort it straight away, they'll get back to us. Or they'll get a solution to get us out of the problem and then maybe work on the problem afterwards. So we find that actually invaluable. It's all to do with keeping the workflow, keeping production going on the floor. With the type of customers that you've got, could you effectively work as, as well as you do without Busy? In truth, we'd be lost without Busy at this stage. If someone took all the seats away, um, we wouldn't have anything to work with. We put everything through Busy. Um, as I say, right the way from design concepts, use the animation part of it, communication with customers, recording job sheets as in completed work, and the metrology. So um, no, we couldn't function without Busy at this stage. And as you expand as a company, do you think there'd be potentially more seats that you could use with Busy? Yes, the, I suppose as we expand, as we have expanded over the last few years, every time we took on a new employee, we have ended up buying another seat and another seat. And it's costly at the time, the initial cost to get started. But then for that employee, you get an awful lot more production. And that's what it's all about. Martin, thank you very much. And thank you.